It's definitely a dirty. How is it not no, a dirty no, no. thing? Let me explain if something hit, to you. If wait, I wait, wait, wait. In the if, back if you, if and, you, and, no, and, not, you don't no. see it, then it's a dirty play. No, nah, you know? if you actually hit matter. me, Marcus, right? You hit me and you turn around. Why are you turning around? You just hit me. You know what the hell you just did. So I'm supposed to just stand there because we on the basketball court? Why you even turned around? I would have pushed you in the front if you would have still been there. You hit me and turn around like you didn't do anything. Well, I'm supposed to turn turn you around and then hit you? No, I'm going to hit you right where you stand. If You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. So, so yeah, um, the Heat, like I said before, you know, I feel like I've been been negative on this sportscast lately, but, <laughs> but like before, I was saying, you know, wait until 20 games. Let's see, you know, before we start, you know, crowning them. We can't crown the, the heat yet. And last couple of the games haven't been looking too good, you know? And I don't think that it's been looking terrible, terrible. A bounce here and there. They probably could have won a game. Jimmy Butler got injured last last uh game. Well, the, the, the game before the last game. And I think if Jimmy Butler plays in both of those games, they win both of them. I think they beat the Lakers and the Clippers which are all good teams, by the way. It's not like they ain't, and, you know, they lose into to scrub teams. So, and um, what we do also have to talk about, though, is that that brawl over there with Denver that happened. You know, that happened within the past, the past week. It wasn't necessarily a brawl, but I do want to get your opinion on it. I'm going I'm to say what I want to say on it first. But um, with the situation, just to anybody who ain't seen it, um, one of the Morris twins was, was on the Heat. I forget we're always which one we got. Is he the Marquise or Marcus? Which which one is on our team? No, I don't even know. <laughs> one of the Morris twins is on the Miami Heat. I can't tell them apart because they look exactly alike. And he's always they've always been tough guys or what or whatnot, and that they play good defense and you know they don't seem like pushovers. Let's just say. And. Uh, Morris twin committed a hard foul on Jokic, the MVP, and Jokic responded with an uh, a, a elbow to the back of Morris. And then, you know, whole melee kind of broke out, whatever, you know, and Jimmy Butler was, you know, acting like he was going to fight somebody, and then he... Uh, team was ready to looks like they was they was ready to brawl like like back in the day at NMB like after school with you and you and your boys we about to you know you know rumble with with whoever that's what it seems like <laughs> right <laughs> exactly you gonna have to go across the street or whatever uh, to handle that business that's what it seemed like but to me I like it I, I like I like to see that you know. We we were talking about how the NBA seems like it's back to the 90s. This is some 90s stuff that happened, you know, uh, with, with the pushing and shoving and and the, and, the, and the smack talking, even the smack talking continued on, on, on social media uh, after the game. So I, I like it because it makes it seem like, you know, we're a team. We're going to fight for each other as brothers and we're not going to let anything, you know, go down like that. But as far as like the actual play and what happened, and I think um Jokic, did he end up getting suspended? Did it one game. Uh, because it it was a hard foul. Like right. it was a hard foul that that Morris did. I don't think it was dirty. I think it was a hard foul. Um, it was, you know, definitely intentional that he wanted to kind of send a message. I feel like it was out of frustration as well, you know, because Jokic, you know, you know what he does. He eats. Uh, and he was eating in that game. But the dirty play was to hit somebody in their back. You know, I it doesn't matter if it's basketball or anywhere. I mean, I mean, you could do it 
if you feel like that is the only situation for you, but most people not going to respect someone who hit somebody in the back, in the back of the head, because it's a blindside hit. Like, come on, like, if you don't see, somebody doesn't see this coming, then it's a dirty play. So it's definitely a dirty, how is it not a dirty play? Let me explain something to you. If I hit somebody in the back, if you you don't see it, then it's a dirty play. Nah, you know, if you ask not, me, not. me, Marcus, right? You hit me and you turn around. Why are you turning around? You just hit me. You know what the hell you just did. So I'm supposed to just stand there because we on the basketball court. Why are you even turned around? I would have pushed you in the front if you would have still been there. You hit me and turn around like you didn't do anything. Well, I'm supposed to turn turn you around and then hit you. No, I'm gonna hit you right where you stand. If it's the front, if it's the back, if it's the side, that's what I'm gonna do. Who's gonna? That don't even make any sense. Marcus just hit me right, and he turns around like he didn't do nothing, right? Because he know the referee is gonna do something, right? The referee's not gonna make it escalate. But Marcus just hit me hard too in my ribs, right? In my ribs. And you're losing at that time as well. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, the frustration, you getting balled on by Joker. And you hit me like that, you turn around like you didn't do anything. So I'm supposed to run in front of you first and then push you. It's just really a Marcus? foul. It's really just Marcus? a foul. Like Marcus, people, no, 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 no. Marcus, hit, hit like that all the time. Hit you. No, foul. no, no. It's not a regular foul. It's not a, every, they get fouled all the time. But I've seen that. He hit him in his ribs, like with his forearm in his ribs. And it's not like it was full court. I might have bought a logo. Like, and I'm a big man. Like, what do you think I'm going to do? Do a fast break and, and dunk it on you? Like, really? You did that on purpose. You did that on purpose to set a tone. What tone are you setting? Joker still got his numbers. Even though he got kicked out of the game, he still had more numbers than you. You did that, you hit him in his ribs hard, and you turned around playing innocent, and then he did what he had to do. Now, again, I got props for you. Oh, dirty play. I got props. I got props for uh, um, Jimmy Butler and the Heat, because regardless, you know, that's your team. You know, even if he's wrong, I got your back. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, you know. But, again, at the end of the day, like, I would have done the same thing. You would have done the same thing too, Marcus. You, if somebody punched you and he turned around like he didn't do nothing. You gonna run and a punch? Him. A punch is something different. He he somebody, literally. It was a basketball play. Like see, it, nobody. Yeah, it was a hard foul, but I'm not gonna like put. I'm not gonna drive my my forearm into your back. So what about if you would have pushed him in the back? If you would have pushed him in the back, it would have been the same thing because it's behind his back. Why are yeah, you turn around? Any, anything, anything in the that back not, of me is, is a dirty play. That was I not mean, a hard foul. That was a dirty play with Marcus on uh, 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 Marquise, whatever the Morris twin. Um, that was a dirty play with him. It was a hard foul, but you hit somebody in the ribs with your forearm. I don't care if you're saying it's a hard foul. That shit hurt. And if I feel like that shit hurt, and you did some green shit to me on the damn court, I'm not gonna run in front of you to confront you especially if you just turned around. No, I'm going to go ahead and either save it, be like, okay, mental note. Next play, I'm going to fuck his ass up. Is out of that? Or once you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. You better don't turn around. <coughs> don't turn around. You seen what Shaq said. You seen what Charles Barkley said. They said the same thing. One plus one is two. Yeah, I, I, to me, it's still a dirty play. It's, it's, it's a dirty play regardless. Anytime you get hit in the back, it's, it's a dirty play. Does a reaction. It was a hard foul. You know, uh, like, players get, get fouled all, all the time. All um, actions are a reaction. And I think all you know, does a reaction. When, when you're trying to stop a fast break, I mean, you got to get in front of the, the guy. He's a big guy. You know, he can – you know, if you don't if you don't stand your ground, he might run you over. You know, because he's that much of a big dude. He was and, on the side of him. Yeah, I, I I just think it was a hard foul. I think it was a, a a basketball play in a fast break. You got to stop this large man from going down the court 
So you know, just- it was a hard foul. Yeah, it was a little too, probably a little too hard. Um, but you know that that's it. That's neither here nor there. It, it, if you're saying a punch, that's different, you know. But it, he stopped you know, him from from his progress because that's all he wanted to do. He wanted to stop the fast break and just make sure it was a foul because sometimes they don't call fouls. Sometimes they'll they'll it'll be a, a, a light tap on the arm, and if it's a fast break, they'll let it go. So he wanted to make sure that they stopped the play and it was not going to be a fast break. Now, yeah, I mean, it's just like boxing or, 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 or MMA. Yeah, protect yourself at all times. And yeah, you put yourself in that situation by turning your back on Jokic. And I'm not really faulting Jokic for doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if I felt some kind of way and you turn your back, I'm not saying like you don't have a reason to do that. But the fact that it matter it's still a dirty play. That's all I'm saying. As it's still, and that's game. why he got suspended for the game, and Morris did not. Well, Morris you know did that before. Morris did that to somebody else. Morris did that to I forgot who it was, but Demarcus Cousins was on the same team. He did it to Demarcus Cousins' um, teammate, and Demarcus Cousins did the same thing to him. You feel what I'm saying? Like he has a history of doing that. I wish I, I'm gonna find that video and send it to you, but like this is not the first time he did it. And he almost got into a fight. Mark um, the Morris twin. He did that before, but he didn't want no problem with Demarcus Cousins, though. I tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Like he he yeah, looked he, like I don't think he wanted any problems with Jokic either. That's yeah, why he no, walked away. Yeah, of course. <laughs> now he didn't walk away. He stayed on the ground. You know, he stayed on the ground, and you know, he made it. He made it seem a lot worse than what it was. But again, I, you know, I respect the the the, the, the Heat teammates for actually um you know having his back like yo again like i said i don't care if mark is wrong like i got his back you know so hey it is what it is you do that as a teammate if you don't do that you know you probably lose the the actual um team the chemistry of the team like this guy don't even have my back you don't want to he don't want to look out for me when 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 um i'm down the other team can just do whatever they want to me. And so, again, that just shows, you know, the loyalty in the team, the chemistry. I got your back, your back um, mentality. You best and... to watch your front. Because if there's niggas who front, stay before the steps. <laughs> I was at the concert last night, so they, they did that song. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, yeah, but the Heat, they looking decent. I still don't like the 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 – the money that they gave Duncan Robinson, you see how he's playing lately. He's missing yeah, all man. his threes, open threes, yeah. threes. You, I'm just like I've been say that. Um, said that Kyle, um, not Kyle Murray, but um, Kyle Lowry. He be decent majority of the time, but he's been getting paid a lot of money to to always need everybody else to do good for the team to win. Aren't you a superstar? I mean, you getting superstar money. So if you get superstar money, that means that even if Jimmy Butler is injured, you should be able to hold the team, especially when you got um, Tyler Hero balling the way he do. You got Adebayo that's actually getting 30, 30 and 10, 30 and 11. Like, look, you're the point guard. Tyler Hero is the shooting guard and Bam is the center. That's a, that's a threesome right there. So a gruesome threesome. You know, you you should be able to hold your own with them. And that's not what's happening. So again, if Tyler Hero's giving you his numbers, Adebayo is giving you his numbers, you should be given around the same numbers. And I think that he had a, a triple double that game where we actually lost. But again, you're the captain of the team. How? You're the floor manager. So you want to make sure that that um, you put the rest of the young guys in, in position to win because when we lose, yeah, a lot of people going to blame a lot of different things like turnovers and certain things like that. But you you should be able to keep leads. If you see that you have a 17-point lead and it's going, it's now it's 10, you as that player, forget that I'm going to put the ball in my hand and I'm going to bring it back to 12, bring it back to 14. I'm not gonna 
um, pass the ball as much because I know that I, I, I believe in myself and I believe in my team as well. But they're young guys. I've been here. I got a ring. It's my job to stop this bleeding and my job to make sure that um, we stop runs when it comes to teams because it, it'd be a lot of games where we're winning a lot of um, games late, 10-point, 15-point leads, 20-point leads, and in the end, it's a close game. And you put you put um, more fire in that team. In the Lakers, same thing. Wolves winning like 10, 10 15 points on um, fourth quarter with five minutes left in the game, and you made them come back and win. Why? Because you're 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 not going to the to the hole. You're you're trying to shoot threes. Like we won this game already. Let's just seal it. You know, we shot the threes that we needed to shoot all game. Let's just seal the game. You know, um, Bam out of bio. You don't need to shoot the jumper. Don't shoot the jumper all the time. No, in the end of the game, go in the paint and go to the free throw line. Get them fouls and put them in foul trouble early. So when it get late in the game, you know what you're going to run to. I'm going to run to the free throw line. And y'all going to foul me because I'm athletic. I've been in the gym. I gained like 15 pounds in muscle. So you can't muscle me how, how you, some players did. So that's what I think about the Heat. I think we're still a good team. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll pull, pull, pull together again when Jimmy Butler come back. Um, and you know, it was a back-to-back -back game in LA. They from Miami. People have problems coming to Miami and dealing with our lifestyle. Same thing, vice versa. We go over there. A lot of people never been to Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, but California. And they're gonna, they're gonna enjoy. It. They're millionaires. So again, it is what it is. I'll take these losses now against these teams um, because I know that these teams ain't going to be nothing um, in the, like, we won't have to worry about them. They're in the West, one, and Golden State is looking like, um, you know, world beaters right now. You got Gary Payton Jr. over there, the glove junior, you know. So I'm going to call him the the the, the I didn't realize they're 11 and one. Yeah, they balling. They doing their thing. So, Yo, and Clay Thompson didn't even come back yet. So we don't even yeah, need to worry about it. When the boy comes back, it's going to be a different story. Same thing like with Ola Depot. When Ola Depot come back, it's going to be a different team. So it is what it is. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's 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 Miami Heat news on the Mark West yeah. Sports Podcast. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, let's go Heat. Let's let's just see, you know, uh how this how this season plays out. But um but yeah, I, I I like for the most part what I see. Um, Jimmy Butler just a sprained ankle, so he's just going to be out a few games. He'll be back, and uh, yeah, I agree. Old Depot comes back, now that that adds another slashing, uh, uh, you know, wing type of player uh, to get to the hole, and that's just going to open it up for everybody else. And uh, maybe Kyle Lowry starts hitting those jumpers that he misses most of the time. Yep, yep. Um, but uh, but yeah, I totally agree with you about Kyle Lowry, though, man. Like for us to be paying him, um, all that bread, for him to be just one notch better than Drakic, basically, I guess you know, just because he's better defensively, because offensively, I take Drakic, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I, mean, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Um, we haven't reached the twenty game mark yet and eight more games we'll see what how these next eight games turn out and if we are you know top three in the east then we right we right where we need to be right now we sixth in the east not exactly where we want to be because that's the borderline of the playoff uh the play in game so that's not where we want to be we want to be safe you know what i'm saying get home court advantage in the first round if we can be four, three, two, you know, even one, though that that's where we want to be if we want to legitimately um, make a run at, at the championship. But um, what else you got though this week? 